G'day guys, I'm standing here with uh, Cameron Bailey from Harcourts Gold. The man may as well have a PhD in, uh, in selling real estate. Busy, busy last couple of days, Cam. You've had four auctions, four under the hammer sales. Uh, tell us what's been happening, what have, what have you noticed? Yeah, thanks Tim. Um, look, we have had a busy couple of days myself and my team. I always think auctions are a barometer of what the market's doing. So just to show you these four sales we've done in the last two days. So four different properties, different price ranges all over town. We had a total of 170 groups through the door. We had 10 bidders that actually bid on the day and a total property value of about 6.6 .6 million. So what that does, it shows me that the market's busy, there's plenty of buyers out there and heaps going on. All of my owners um, ranged in the number of bidders on their property. One of the properties only had one, pe one person there to bid on the day. One of the other ones had four or five bidders on the day. So it just goes to show you what's happening out there. Lots of opportunity. So 10 bidders, 6.6 .6 million. Uh, there's four disappointed underbidders that go back out into that marketplace with some unspent money. And, and also all of those other buyers too. So you'd be pretty brave uh, not, to take your, uh, not, not to take your property to, uh, to auction. I think so. I mean, I've noticed a bit of uh, a few deadlines creeping into the current marketplace at the moment. Typically, I think the smaller real estate companies do the deadline sales because they don't have the grunt and all the network of agents behind them that Harcourts has. Um, so they push a deadline sale. I, look, I think the biggest difference between auction and deadline sale is that auctions uh, are more emotional. They get buyers in an open and transparent forum and they show them the market. Um, with a deadline sale, it's a lot more analytical. An example of that, I think, is the property that I've just sold in uh, Hawthorne Street. We got 2.425 million for that property. The actual people that bought it had a registered valuation at 2.3. So it was only the competition and the process that pushed, that pushed them up. Um, speaking to them the night before, they were telling me that they won't pay any more than their valuation. So, you know, if it was a deadline sale, my belief is that they would have put a deadline in at 2.3 million. And if they were the highest bidder, they, highest deadline sale, I should say, they would know that and they wouldn't probably move too far on that. But the process pushed them up $125,000 more, which is better to be in my owner's pocket rather than their pocket. So it's a beautiful process. Auctions also work for, you know, the cheaper first home buyers' houses right up through the high-end houses. That one in Hawthorne Street, we actually had four bidders there in the room and two watching that didn't bid. So it just goes to show you even the high-end moves really well with an auction property. Exactly, couldn't have said it any better. Uh, guys, watch this man. He keeps listing uh, the best uh, homes uh, in Christchurch, of course. And uh, if you want your house sold, come and see Cam. Good day. Thank you.